What's going on team? My name is Pele and I'm a Nike training ambassador. I'm gonna be taking you through a home workout today focused on agility. So the reason that I'm filming this video today is because Nike and Chelsea have teamed up to keep you fit and healthy throughout this period at home. The way that I've adapted to this weird period that we're all in is by trying to keep as much structure as I can in my day. So just before we kick off with the workout, I'm gonna jump in for a quick chat with Billy Gilmore, midfielder from Chelsea FC. And we're gonna have a chat with him to see how he's adapting to this new period, what he's doing to keep fit and healthy at home, and hopefully he can offer some inspiration and motivation to you to stay home, stay fit, and stay healthy. Hello. Hey Billy, how's it going mate, you all right? Yeah, I'm good, thanks, how are you? Yeah, all good man, all good. So where are you at the moment? I'm back home with my family in Scotland, so I'm so it's good to be home. How How's everything going, like in terms of adapting? You find it tough not being on the pitch and stuff like that? Yeah, I'm not used to being so relaxed at home and chilling with my family. I'm usually up doing something. It must be quite nice, obviously for you, since you've been young, young, your schedule must have been like so regimented throughout in regards to football. And nowadays, I suppose, what, you're having more time at home to relax? Yeah, it's it's different. I mean, coming home, I'm not usually with my family. I stay in London myself and Diggs. Uh, but when I'm home here, it's good. I'm more relaxed. Playing with my little brother, I don't get to see much. So that's, that's a positive side. And then he plays football as well. So we're both doing fitness together. So I'm pushing him and he's pushing me. So that's good. I've got someone to do it with. That's the best thing, man. Like, I'm similar my, with my brother. We've been training quite a lot together. And just having someone there, like when you're struggling, when the session's getting hard and someone's there next to you working hard, it sort of gives you that little extra push that you need. Yeah, it does. It's like as well, we'll be doing running and then we'll make it competitive okay. as in, let's go, you get a head start and we'll see. So it's pushing each other as well, as long as it's getting fitness, so it's good. I think it's quite a good test of character. Like obviously at the level that you play at, you turn up to the training ground and the coaches are there to put you through your paces and sort of direct you through your training they're telling you the session and you're doing it it's different when you're doing it you can just tell yourself ah i'll leave it and stuff but that's the mentality side that comes in you need to push yourself and keep striving to make yourself feel oh, oh i'm tired and make out a proper workout have, have you been given stuff from like frank and the coaching team no the coaching uh, staff have gave us stuff to do with uh, running gym and then just like slight ball work, so that's good as well. But they say if you add in some your own stuff, so maybe doing like stretching, yoga, maybe as well they throw in. So it's good they've gave us a couple of ideas to do. And it's funny you mentioned yoga. That was one thing when this lockdown started. I said I'm gonna do yoga twenty minutes every morning, and I've done it like twice. Yeah. But then it's just something that I don't prioritize. Nah, I used to do yoga when I was younger at uh, Rangers, so I did. We we had to do yoga, so it's something I've already done before but it's quite it's quite interesting it's different but it's good i enjoyed it As, mate it's definitely different doing yoga in the living room to having like however many thousand fans shouting your name on the pitch <laughs> <laughs> yeah exactly but no as you said i just um the stuff i've been given with the running side and the gym work it's it's hard to keep yourself doing it and obviously some folk might not have the facilities for that so you can understand but you just need to work with what you've got are you finding it tough to keep to like strict nutrition at home with like biscuits and stuff in the cupboard the whole time? Or are you, are you pretty good at that? My mum's always making me food. She says I'm eating, <laughs> eating everything out the house. She has to go shopping. She's getting annoyed at me because I'm eating so much. But <laughs> uh, nah, it's, it's, sometimes it's difficult, but I can have like, a cheap day there and then. But I know when I'm working and properly working my, uh, on the days, I won't have like... I'll have the right stuff, so like fruit, and then I'll have a nice meal, and then I'll have my protein shake. So I've got stuff from Chelsea they've been giving me. So yeah. when you're eating well, you want to train, and when you're training well, sorry, when you're eating well, you want to train, and when you're training, you want to eat well. So it's all like a an upward spiral. Yeah, it's when when you do start eating well when you're training, you get that bit of enthusiasm where you're like, oh, I'm doing well. When you start noticing stuff that. Like, the different shape you get into. 100%. And it's also physical, but also like just mentally you wake up, you feel sharp. Yeah, up, up in the morning. That's I've been doing. Uh, Mum's been teaching me new skills and how to cook. So I've been cooking my own breakfast every morning. <laughs> 
Love that. So what, what's, a, what's, a, what's a classic breakfast on Billy's menu? Go on. Cheese and ham omelette and then maybe other days we'll have toast and egg. Mate, that's how you start. So by the end of this period, you'll be cooking free course meal for the family. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> you have more time on your hands now. So are you, are you still studying? Are you trying to learn new things while you're not on the pitch as much? Well, me and my mum and my little brother, um, I've put ourselves up for a sign language course. So, oh, wow. So that was something uh, when I was younger. I, it's all stuck in my mind. I went to Asda, the shop, and there was this woman and I went up to ask her for something and she never responded and then she didn't like sign language and then I went up to my mum and my mum told me that tell her your name say hello because I had done that in school so I said up to her and she had a massive smile and that just made me feel that like I've made her day so that's something I want to do and try and get better at that's wicked man I wasn't expecting to hear that that's Im that's impressive yeah, so my mum signed me up and we've been doing two hours a night, so it's been good. That's the thing is you'll come out of this whole situation and like I said before, some people would have looked at it as like dead time and just not progressed at all. Whereas someone like yourself who's investing yeah. in learning a completely new skill and to cook, wicked stuff. <laughs> Cooking side's a bit difficult for me. <laughs> when you go on a run, what do you normally do? Do you go for distance or for a certain amount of time? So I have went I went 5k, so I have with my little brother. Uh, it's been good times so i've done 17 minutes 30 40 settings and then i've done one in 18 10 and then the rest has been up maybe 18 minutes to 19 minutes so it's good i don't know how ross bartley's done 16 minutes 11 settings that was 16 was minutes 11 seconds before. something like that wasn't it 16 minutes I haven't seen it no wow, that is rapid all right billy so tell me Lockdown's finished, we've been giving the all clear that life's going back to normal. What is the first thing that you're going to do? Probably go and kick a ball about something just to get out the house for a full day and see all my friends again. That'll be really good and hopefully it's soon. Yeah, man, I mean, think, fingers crossed it is. What do, you got, what do you do with your mates when you're not training or kicking a ball around? What do you do? Go and eat food? Do you go to cinema? So my, my best mate, all he eats is chicken and chips. He loves Nando's. So he always he always goes Nando's. So it's either a Nando's or we'll go, we'll go to like mini golf or something, just something different. All right, Billy. So after this uh, this little chat, I'm gonna take everyone through an agility workout. So obviously your position, centre midfielder, you're up and down. Agility is a massive part of your game. How do you sort of or how are you keeping on top of that agility at the moment, being at home without strict coaching? Yeah, agility is a massive part of my game. Um, Short and sharp, I need to be on the pitch. So, I'm, so what I'll be doing is more changing of change of direction, uh, running. So there you go. doing box runs, as I've said, as in line to line. That's the kind of turning off both feet, or even just zigzags running through cones. So it is uh, instead of just straight line running because you never really run straight lines in football. It's it's always movement and turning. Uh, short and sharp stuff so that's what I've been doing keeping myself uh, agile on the pitch. Do you reckon you've been able to have some time to sort of reflect and think back on your career so far? Obviously you've progressed massively in recent years um, so yeah have you thought about that and how are you going to sort of get back into the into the driving seat after this period? Yeah I've had time to reflect and analyse my own games and stuff um, but when we go back, I know it's going to be difficult to start. It's just like it's going to be a mini pre season, I can imagine. Try to get everyone back to fully fitness because there's not you can do all the fitness and running, but there's nothing like game fitness. That's what I believe. A game's totally different, takes it takes it out of you. So I just need to keep uh, working hard and making sure that when I'm I do go back that I'm ready. I've got no niggles, I'm injury free. So that's what I'm looking forward to. Go back hit the ground running again, hopefully, and get back to winning ways for Chelsea. Nice, man. Yeah, sometimes having a little bit of time to think back and look at things from a different view can sort of pull you back and then propel you forward to wherever you want to go. Yeah, definitely. As you say, when you, when you have this time off, you you start to miss it and maybe we, we take football for granted. As you can see, everyone's getting bored in the house and doesn't know what to watch so I'm sure when the football's back there'll be a lot of a lot of football fans starting to fill up every stadium in the world because of this time's made everyone so appreciative of what's going on. Nice man well you definitely got your head screwed on 
and I uh, wish you all the best. Chill out with the family for the rest of this period. Well done. Thank you very much. I've appreciated this. What's going on team? My name's Pele. I'm a Nike training ambassador and I'm going to be taking you through an agility workout today. So agility is the ability to move in different directions quickly, easily and smoothly. So we're going to run through a brief warm up to start off with, get the joints nice and mobile, start to increase the heart rate. And then after the warm up, I'll explain the workout and we'll crack on. So warm up mover number one is a nice deep squat. Feet about hip width, point the toes out slightly, coming down into a squat. Both hands go to the floor, one hand stays flat on the floor, one hand opens up towards the ceiling. Looking up towards that hand, we've got 10 reps here, nice big rotation. Try and keep a tall chest, try and keep those heels flat on the floor. If your heels are coming off the floor, just point the toes out slightly more. We've got five, four, three, two, last one, and one. Good stuff. Coming up to our feet, we're gonna go into a forward lunge now. Back knee just off the floor, and then rotate over that front leg. Forward lunge, back knee just off the floor, rotate over the front leg. We've got eight more here. Make sure those eyes follow the torso as you rotate. Step back and switch sides, five. Four, nice, three more, three, two, good, last one, and one, nice stuff. From there, we're gonna go into the world's greatest stretch. Coming down into a high plank on the hands, bringing the right leg forward flat, outside the right hand, right elbow goes down towards right heel, open up, look towards the ceiling. We're gonna do five on each side. Nice big opener here. Good, two more. Big chest, final one. Nice, right hand to the floor, right foot back, left foot forward. That back leg is nice and straight. Left elbow down towards left heel, up and open. Making sure those eyes follow the hand up towards the ceiling. Three more. Nice, two more. Big open here, final one. Good stuff. From there, we're gonna come down to a high plank again. We're gonna go into a downward facing dog. So, hands are under the shoulders, nice strong core. We're gonna come up, hips go high, head goes through the shoulder blades, back to that high plank. Legs nice and straight, driving the head through the shoulder blades, coming back. Nice team, good. Can we get the hips a little bit higher? Good, we've got three more here. Last two. Final rep. Nice team, good. Back onto your feet. Your final movement for the warm up is going to be a lateral hop. Lateral means moving side to side, and a hop is on one leg. We're gonna hop, come across, hop, come across. We've got 30 seconds here, so hop. Just a little jump, find that balance. Nice, just getting the body primed here for the workout about to come. Waking up every single muscle in the lower body. Stable, find that balance, nice. 10 seconds more, good team. Five, four, three, two and one. Hopefully you're feeling nice and warm now. The heart rate you're feeling is elevated. That's what we want. So we're gonna crack on with the workout now. Okay team, so we're nice and warm now. We're gonna kick off with the workout. We've got three movements and we're doing 40 seconds work, 20 seconds rest for two rounds. 
that's six minutes total. You then have 90 seconds to recover and grab some water. And we then go on to our second block of three different movements. So it's 12 minutes of work total. We're going 40 seconds work, 20 seconds rest. I'm gonna quickly show you the movements now and then we can kick off. Movement number one is gonna be a reverse lunge with a knee drive. Reverse lunge, knee drive. So a little hop at the top, pause for a sec and coming back. Movement number two, we're gonna to need to grab our pair of trainers. I've got my Nike running shoes here. We're going for lateral high knees. So we're going for one, two, one, two, one, two. Coming over those cones. If you're experienced here, speed up. If not, go nice and slow, just keep moving. Movement number three is a traveling push-up. Bringing those shoes about hip width. We're gonna have one hand inside the shoes, one hand outside. We're gonna come down till our chest touches the shoe, come up, hand in the middle, hand outside, and we go again. If you're a bit more beginner, drop to your knees, then we come up to the toes, come across, back to the knees, into that push-up. Three movements here, 40 seconds work, 20 seconds rest. Shoes to the side for now. Whole 40 seconds on just one leg to start with. Get ready team. We're going in three, two, and one. Let's go. Reverse lunge, knee drive. Reverse lunge, knee drive. Good team, nice. Can we balance for a second here at the top? A little jump, pause, and we go back. Use those arms for momentum. Find your rhythm, find your own pace. Good. Nice team. Keep that going. Last 10, just under. And recover. Nice work. Grabbing those shoes now. Placing them just wider than shoulder width. Going for our lateral high knees. Two steps in each. Getting ready team, we've got 40 seconds of work. Let's go. Use the arms for momentum. Again, find your rhythm. Find your own pace. Nice team, good. Try to keep that chest up if we can. Good, we're getting through it now. Nice. Whew. And breathe. Nice deep breath. 15 seconds. And then we're going into our traveling push ups. So, bring those shoes down. Getting the chest down to touch the shoe. Let's go. Nice deep push up. Hand comes in the middle, and then we go again. Like I said, if you're on the knees, go for the push up, come to your toes, come across, back to your knees, back into that push up. Whether you're going regular or kneeling, make sure that chest comes nice and low towards the floor. Good. Getting through it now, team. Chest all the way to that shoe. And recover. We're running through those three movements again. Shoes can go to the side for the first movement. Reverse lunge with a little jump. This time on the opposite leg. Three, two, and one. Nicely, let's go. Good. Again, find your rhythm, get that pause, and we go back. Pause, nice team, good. Arms for momentum. All about coordination here. We. Nice. Good. Last 11 seconds. Mm -hmm. 
and recover. Good stuff. Back into those lateral high knees. If you found it a little bit easy, can we speed up? Or can you bring the shoes a little bit closer? Challenge yourself here. Three, two, one, let's go. Nice team, good. Go at a pace that's challenging for you, not the person next to you. Nice team. Keep that going. Nearly there. 10 seconds. And recover. Our final movement before 90 seconds of rest. Back into those traveling push-ups. Get the chest nice and low down towards that shoe. Three, two, and one. Let's go team. Straight in. Chest down, hand in the middle, hand outside, and we repeat. Remember, if you're on the knees, chest comes down, come to your toes, come across, back to your knees, back into that push-up, and back to your toes. Can you go a little bit quicker? Can you find that coordination? Nice team. Keep that going. Nearly there. And recover. 90 seconds of well-earned rest. Grab some water if you're sweating like I am. Grab a towel if you've got one. Nice deep breaths. I'm gonna quickly run through the next three movements. Movement number one is a reactive lateral jump. So, coming to one side, coming onto the toes, you wanna land on the outside leg. So toes, land, jump. Relax, toes, land, jump. So the second the heels hit the floor, jump. That's movement number one. Movement number two is an L-shaped hop. One shoe goes behind you to the left, one goes in front of you to the right. Hopping across, forward, back, and across. Find your balance, forward, back, and across. For the second round of the movement, we'll move this shoe back here, and this shoe forward. Movement number three is gonna be a hovering lunge complex. Side lunge, hover. Side lunge, hover. We then go forward lunge, hover, forward lunge, hover, and then back to our two side lunges. All on one leg for the first round, then we switch. So reactive lateral bounds. Let's go. Toes, land, jump. Toes, land, jump. Find those reactions, team. Let's go, guys. Toes, land, jump. Toes, land, jump. Nice. Find that speed. Good. Nice. Can you stick the landing? Make sure we're balanced here. Toes, land, jump. Toes, land, jump. Nice. And recover, good stuff. One shoe goes behind you to the left, one goes in front of you to the right. We go for a lateral jump, forward jump, back and across. Getting ready team, 40 seconds work. Three, two, and one. Cross, forward, back, across, nice. Balance. If you're challenging yourself more, land a little bit lower. Land low, land low, nice. Good team. Over halfway now. Nice 
Nice. Four, three, two, and one. Good stuff. So, go to those hovering lunges now. Two to the side, two forward. Same leg for the whole 40 seconds. Couple of deep breaths, team. Come on, we're getting through it now, stay with me. We're going in three, two, and one, let's go. Side lunge, hover. Side lunge, hover. Forward lunge, hover. Good. Good work. So, going back into your first movement now, those reactive lateral bounds. This time, pause for a second on the toes, land, go, nice and quick. Getting ready, last three minutes of work now. Three, two, one, let's go. Toes, and across, nice. Toes, pause, land, across. Toes, land, across, nice. Good. Nice team. Good work. Last 15. Good. Five seconds. And recover. Placing those shoes in the opposite places now. Challenging the other side, we're coming across, forward. We know the rest. Five seconds, team. Let's get it. Last bit of work here. Nice. Remember, can we land a little bit lower? Challenge your balance here. Nice, team. Over halfway. Good. Keep that chest up. Last little bit. Three, two, and one. Nice work. Our final movement here, hovering lunges, other side this time. So we're stepping out for two side lunges with a pause and then two forward lunges with that pause. Let's go, last movement now, last minute of work. Let's go. Come into the side lunge, hover. Side lunge, hover. We then go forward lunge, back into that hover. Use the arms if you have to. Have Matt in front of you. Find that coordination team. Last bit of work here. Get that pause. Nice. Side lunge, hover. Side lunge, hover. Good, last bit here. Keep your balance. Nice, really there. Good work. And recover. Great stuff, team. That is our workout done. Amazing, amazing work, team. We're gonna run through a quick stretch now. Super important, so please don't run off before we stretch. First thing we're gonna do is come down into a nice deep squat. Have the hands or knuckles together and just rotate out, pushing those elbows out on the knees, get a nice stretch through the groin. We're gonna hold here for five, four, three, two, and one. Good stuff. Coming down to both knees, keeping that chest nice and tall, interlace the fingers, driving them up, dropping down to one side, holding for five, four, three, 
two, one, and then coming across to the other side, five, four, three, two, one, good stuff. Then we're gonna push those hands out as far in front of us as we can, separating the shoulder blades, three, two, one. Nice team. Then coming into a high plank, stretching out those calves, just gonna pedal through, 10 seconds. Good, five, four, three, two, one. And then coming, having a seat, both legs out in front of you, getting the chest down towards the knees. The five, four, three, two, and one. And then spinning over, last stretch here, coming into a pigeon. So bringing one foot forward on the outside of the shin and then just dropping that chest down for five, four, three, two, one. And slowly switching sides, chest down. Five, four, three, two, and one. Amazing stuff team. Like I said at the beginning, agility is super important for any athletic uh, movement. Being able to move forwards and backwards, left to right, diagonally, zigzags, smoothly, efficiently and quickly. That's what agility is. I hope you enjoyed the workout. If you got through two blocks, amazing work. If you only got through the first block as well, wicked stuff. Join us every Tuesday and Friday for different workouts with the players at the Chelsea squad. My name was Pele. Stay at home, stay fit, stay healthy and look after yourselves.